Hi everyone, I'm Yas Nob. Everyone just calls me Yachan. Today, I will talk about the inspiring kids. Now, who likes studying? If you remember solving formulas and solving problems at school, right? However, I hated it. And my favorite subject was leaving school. In Japan, we must run about 2,000 Chinese characters and we must remember every stroke. But why? Won't it be easier just typing it right? I dropped out of high school. And every day I spent watching movies and playing video games and staying up way past time, bedtime. And don't forget, I also loved manga and anime. Oh, I forget to tell that I have two younger brothers who didn't go to school and followed whatever I did. Now imagine, three brothers every day watching movies and playing video games without going to school. It's like the paradise. It's like the best job in the world, but dreadful for you parents. Our paradise was the best, but I began to think this might not be good. I started to think the way up to make study fun. As a high school dropout, I could enjoy studying history using biographies I liked of important people and memorize books I liked and to strengthen my memory. Believe it or not, I got into the top university in Japan, Kyoto University. My younger brothers inherited the same idea of studying what they liked and went to Kyoto University. Last year, my mother passed away. And no doubt she was worried about how it would turn out. So, but getting into college and graduating college was something we could pay her back for. This was surely a great relief for her. After graduating, I became a teacher and decided to teach children from elementary to high school to study. I taught everything a normal teacher would like grammar and math. I taught with unmatchable passion, but none of them showed interest. They were really interested in manga, anime, movies, and games. This I could understand because I was just like them. I took a moment and thought about it. I realized all kids in the world are the same. If you were a kid, you did not enjoy studying. But as a parent, you want you, your parents to study. So how can we bridge the gap? How would you have liked to enjoy studying? Let's all consider this. For children, anime and games are fun. But studying is boring. Hmm. Uh, let's think about this, the entertainment value. For adults, what is the difference between two? The difference is, is entertainment. We know children fun things, and, but we want children to study. Why study? Because it has variable. What is variable? Because anime and manga is made up stories, but studying is about the truth, like this. What's important for children and what's important for child are completely opposite. As you can see, Anime and games are fun, but fiction. Studying is boring, but it's true. Then, what matters to children most is vertical line. They don't really care if it's true or not. Anything that makes happy, they love. However, others find importance on facts and truth. They say, what is the value of 
memorizing characters or defeating the boss in a game. This is not life changing. Children believe truth. Children believe it can help with survival. This is parental love. So, this is how parents and children often fight. Parents want children to do things they don't want to do. This is common in everywhere in the world. How do we solve this problem? There is only one solution. Turn studying into the best form of entertainment. But how? I start to think, why was I myself so into anime and games? Interesting characters appear in anime. So if you put the interesting character in the textbook, will it be interesting? No. Not at all. So, how about sound effects of BGM? But Harry Potter books have fascinated children all over the world without any sounds. I noticed one common thing in entertainment experience. I came up with the ideas. Maybe children are about crazy, the wonder and emotion in anime and games. A wow means I wanted to know more and I wanted to try it. Little by little, I learned how to make children's experience full of wonder and emotion. I knew wonder and emotion changed children's experience. Then, my biggest challenge was yet to come, using wonder and emotion to teach chemistry. Have you ever seen this table before? Yes, these are the elements that makes up the world. Simply, the first is hydrogen, the second is helium, the third is lithium, and so on. Do any of you have good memory of this table? Have you ever thought, wow, what a beautiful table? Oh my, this tells us the truth world. No, right? This was my mission. I wanted to make children say, wow, it's beautiful. This was my challenge to the world. Usually, you study table in chemistry. You run the elements. Your teacher tells you the blues are the metals, the gray is the gas, and so on. And you expect it to memorize it all. For children, this type of experiment is quite boring. But what if this was a role-playing game? Once you start your adventure, you are giving all the explanation. The best soul, the best armor to defeat the last boss and game over. What do you think? This is not the type of game you would like to play. Studying is the same. You get all the truth, but don't get any wonder and emotion. It's not interesting because you don't experience anything on your own. We have changed the traditional way of education. The periodic table is the last boss in the game, where children experience everything to the last stage. Children pick up things along their journey to use as important tools. So we designed a new running way, just like in a game. This is what we have prepared. First, we look at the colorful elements. Children experience by observing, touching, and smearing one by one. Hmm. Children say, what is this? What is that? Oh, this, it's beautiful. Children see bismuth for the first time and have excited. Bismuth look, look like a rainbow and the shape is quite human. So it's like rare item many have not seen. We continue to stimulate the curiosity of children. Children's interest develops from here. At this stage, children gradually get to know elements, name, and characteristics. Children are given 
element cars. Oh, okay. Children are given element cars and they wonder what it is. We tell them there is a number printed on the card. And some of them ask, what is this number? But we only reply with, that's a good question. Children reach the last stage. They challenge to line up all the element cards in correct order. This is the last boss. Children try to line up it a straight line and some in a circle. Then, then another, from another table, children say, oh, this is red number. Children remember the gray ones and the noble gases. And the biggest characteristic is not to bond with other elements. And if you look close enough, you can see the red number zero, which means they are all related. By the way, this number is balance. Children get hints. The exploding alkali elements, the number is one. And crystal elements, the number is two, like so. Now back to the question. How do we line all these up? Children don't understand the blue numbers, but they line up cards like this. Because the blue numbers are lined up in order, so it feels natural. By the way, the number is the atomic weight. By doing so, children are able to overcome one mystery to the next and make their way toward the finish line. Finally, children can understand the correct card order. Children are able to be the last boss, the periodic table. We say, well done. You can create the periodic table. In fact, the scientists around the world have spent hundreds of years. This table is crystal of human knowledge. You created it by yourself. A last line is a little exaggerated. But I will never forget what happened in the next moment. A big roaring cheer came from classroom. Yeah, we found something amazing. Wow, this is secret of the elements. And I say, how, what do you feel? They say, amazing, exciting, and beautiful. I was really moved at that time. My soul trembled and overwhelmed with emotion. Tears of happiness overflowed, and I couldn't stop. Because the children in front of me are experiences, experiencing experiences that I could do before. I couldn't do before. Because the truth of the elements was engraved in children's life with wonder and emotion. Children were absolutely absorbed into running periodic table. The periodic table is not the only truth of the world that we are that want to tell our children. There is another children about human nature and technology. But to do that, the way to touch the truth in the form of study, it needs to be presented in the best form of entertainment. And for that purpose, we as adults must make effort beyond the status quo. 
Because the children are great as they are today. Children in the world born with the same sense, sense of wonder and emotion. Instead of an overload of facts, children need a path of wanting to know. The power lies in all of you to create this path for all kids in the world. Thank you.